At the core of all computers is its instruction set. This is the complete set of all instructions written in machine code that are recognisable and thus executable by a particular central processing unit or CPU. Different CPU designs and thus different computer systems will have a different core instruction set. Broadly speaking, all instruction sets can be thought of as falling into two main categories. Those that belong to the reduced instruction set computing or RISC and those that belong to a complex instruction set computing or CISC. The purpose of this video is to understand the main differences between and the uses of the complex instruction set computer and the reduced instruction set computer processing systems. With a complex instruction set computing system, chip manufacturers offer larger and richer sets of machine instructions available on their CPU. For example, say you wanted to multiply two numbers together, say x times y. With a complex instruction set computing system, there could well be a single instruction such as mult x y available in the instruction set. When the compiler sees a multiply command in a high level language such as VB or C sharp, it can turn this into a single machine code instruction as it's available in the instruction set. This single machine code instruction, however, will likely take multiple machine cycles to execute for the instruction. The downside is for this to be possible, the manufacturer would need to add more complex circuitry. The trade-off is therefore, more complex hardware is needed, but it can support simpler coding. Most desktop or laptop computers use a complex instruction set computing architecture and they tend to be produced by companies such as Intel or AMD. With a reduced instruction set computing system, the situation is now reversed. The hardware itself can be kept nice and simple, but the software now needs to be more complicated. In our previous example, there may now no longer be a single machine instruction on the instruction set to carry out something as simple as multiplying x times y. So now the compiler will have to generate more lines of low level machine code. For example, the previous machine instruction under the complex instruction set computer system of mult x y might now have to become this. Load y from memory into register 1, followed by load x from memory into register 1. A prod command, which is a low level machine version of multiply the contents of register 1 and register 2 together, and then store the answer back into memory. This is an increase, obviously, of one instruction to four. However, the upside is that each instruction can be carried out in a single machine cycle. A major benefit for this reduced instruction set computing architecture is that a system called pipelining can be used to speed up processing. With pipelining, these first two instructions to load X and load Y could be carried out at the same time as they don't depend on each other. This can only happen with an induced, reduced instruction set computer architecture as all instructions now take just one machine cycle. Most smartphones and tablets used a reduced instruction set computing architecture based around the ARM processor. To summarise, here are the key differences between the two types of processor architecture. Study it and make sure you understand the difference between the CISC processor architecture and the RISC processor architecture. 